previously on Behind the Bee. NHL hockey is a rough game, and no one knows that better than the Boston Bruins. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, just hit me in the in the cheek there, kind of right beside the nose. So uh, fortunately, uh, got a thick skull, and everything's okay. Despite five stitches to his face, Milan Lucic had two goals and an assist versus Buffalo. Unfortunately, that was not the only injury in the game. The break wide feed on the money to Erickson. Erickson to the red line to scale it in. He got hit an open ice by Scott. And he's shaking well, up. Now you might see something. Yes. And McQuaid's going to jump in on Scott here. And McQuaid dropping the gloves with Scott along the back glass and a Buffalo end. And Erickson is shaking up. He's going to be assisted to the Bruins bench. When Adam McQuaid took on John Scott for his cheap shot on Louis Erickson, he was doing what Bruins do for their teammates. His effort did not go unnoticed. That was right to the head, huh? Regardless of injury, the regular season grinds on. For the Bruins, that means the familiar rhythms of a practice day. Today it's all about getting ready for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Bruin fans certainly remember Boston's dominant four-game sweep of Pittsburgh in last year's playoffs. But you can be sure the Pens haven't forgotten either, and that this game is circled on their schedule. For the Bees, this game will require lots of time practicing on the ice, but also in the video room, where the penalty kill is a hot topic. First of all, Bert, right off the bat, I think we can get right into these battles yeah. right off the bat. We hesitate, and that's one thing, Iggy. If you see something like this, anytime we can get three guys in there, and it happened the, the first time, you, went, you were in a good spot on the goal that they scored, but Tori lost the battle in the wall. So you stay down, you stay right where you were in that situation in the first goal that they scored. There was also a welcome surprise for the team at Restucia Arena today as Louis Erickson rejoined his teammates. And while he isn't on the ice yet, the boys are happy to see him feeling better. Kelsey's replacing him on the power play, so he's saw, he wants you to take your time and the not, team, not do too the much. The team wants you back tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> the team wants you back tomorrow, but Kel says you can take your time take your that time. way. Thank you right now. Just take your time. Take your time. He wants a lot of power play time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Early morning, and the Bruins players aren't the only ones prepping to play the Penguins. The day is already well underway for the Bruins equipment staff of Keith Robinson, Beach Johnson, and Maddie Falconer. Chilly, eh? Starting to feel like hockey weather. It's a tough week for the guys with back-to-back -back games, Wednesday in Pittsburgh, then back home against Anaheim on Thursday. Today, they travel to Pittsburgh. That means almost 3,000 pounds of bees gear spread out over 27 hockey bags, two equipment bags, two stick bags, and seven hard case trunks that must be packed, loaded, and shipped. See you tomorrow night. 
Next stop, Hanscom Field, where the guys will meet the Bruins charter on the tarmac. Nice clear day, that's for sure. With the Bruins and their gear now safely aboard, it's off to Pittsburgh. Thank you. And time for some breakfast and a little shut-eye. Team lands in Pittsburgh, it's straight to the rink for practice. Everyone chips in when the equipment truck arrives, but Robinson is the man to ask if you can't find something after you've unpacked. Where's the shoes? I think uh, Davey just had it in his hand. What? Eating gummy, gummy bears or whatever, the energy ones. Ah, uh, that's Derek's little trunk. With a road skate less than an hour away, there's no one busier than the equipment manager. I did your skates yesterday for today, so you get today and tomorrow morning in. After a busy practice, lots of skate sharpening, and one very long day, Robinson finally makes it back to the team hotel for a much needed rest. And he'll need it because the intensity tomorrow will be much higher. Game day. The equipment staff arrives at the office early and won't leave until the game is over. Sometimes these screws will back right out, tighten them up. That would be a tough one to fix in the middle of the game. Before the players show up, everything must be ready. Skates, sticks, helmets, jerseys, and dozens of other details, none of which can be overlooked. And that's just for the morning skate. After all the preparation, hard work, and travel, it's finally time to play some hockey in Pittsburgh. Come on, Come on, I'll be talking if you have me back. Facing Sidney Crosby and the explosive Pens offense means top pair D-men Zdeno Chara and Johnny Boychek need to be at their best. Go, 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 go. Good job, Johnny. I'd rather give him that good. shot than I'll just give it to Iggy, he'll score. All right, what are we doing now? Uh, John, just open up and I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll try to give it to you right away. Got a little stone here. Yeah. I feel like I'm losing inside, actually. I'm able to take it. Some guys can't go. No score after the first, but the bees know they need to pick it up if they want two points. They came out hard. We gotta win those battles down low in the offensive end of the zone. We'll take care of that, we'll give ourselves a good chance to win. And right now I think they had a little bit more determination in that period than we did. Pretty obvious. You know, they took the play to us for the most part, and they finished their checks, they outchecked us, they outshot us, they they outskated us. So it's okay, it's a 0-0 zero, zero hockey game, 60 minute period, but what are we gonna do about it as, as a group? Swung down the slot. What a goal. Come on boys, hey, come on. Pick it up, pick it up, come on. Good job, good job, pick it up, pick it up. One thing that was made crystal clear in the second period, Sedano Chara does not like to be slashed. Hey, 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 h
Stay here. Don't slash me like that. Well, I mean hard, but don't hey. don't do it like that. Hey, okay. You do it. You do it too. No. Next one. Next one. The Bruins enter the second break down one zip, and head coach Claude Julien is not happy. What you have right now is an opportunity to take this game in your own hands and do something about it. Okay? It is a big game. It's a conference game. Conference game right now. That's one of our teams that we're fighting against. I can't say it enough. Right now, okay, I'm trying to show some attitude because that's what we need. Okay, are we going to win battles? Are we going to win races in that third period? Are we going to go get that next goal? Or are we just going to ride it through? Okay, penalty kill. How many goals? Do I know why? Soft. That's why. That's the truth. Okay, so well, uh, let's take the truth, turn it into reality here, turn things around. Okay, so we got 20 minutes here. If you want to win the game, don't look at me like you've seen a ghost. Go out there and do the job here right now, guys. You are a hell of a lot better than we've shown. Well, let's go here. Trailing by a goal entering the third period and feeling extra motivated from their coach's talk, the team is looking to even the score quickly. Butch, hey? Butch. And they do. Sent back to the point, Seidenberg. Seidenberg, a shot directed, score! They've tied the game! There you go, boys! That's it, White! One piece first, if you... Okay. Ahead comes Crosby, point shot back. Crosby's shot is stopped and covered by Rash. And now Rash goes after Crosby. With the score now tied, the physicality of this one ramps up, way up. Sid, you don't have to do that out the whistle. Watch your stick, Jay. Watch your stick, He got to watch his stick. That's after the whistle. You got to recognize that. That's after the whistle. Hey, you want to talk to me? No, I want to talk. Okay, thank you. Oh, easy. I'll talk to you anytime. But you got to recognize that, though. What the f up? is that? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Why are you bleeding? <laughs> embellishing. <laughs> embellishing. I mean, if you're going to dive the whole time. Good job, good skate, good job, so, Come on, boys, come on. Come on, pal. Come on, Marshy, hey? Keep going. Come on, Bergy. Come on, Iggy. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go, Smith. Come on, come on. A tough loss. And while the players' night is now over, it's just beginning for the equipment staff. Thank you. Thank you. A fast pack is necessary because in less than 24 hours, the Bruins will be playing the Anaheim Ducks back in Boston. Thanks again. Great seeing you. I'd love to. I hope to. One of my favorite towns. All right. Yeah. We'll see you then. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Once they're on the ground, the players head home to rest up for their game.
but there's no rest for Robinson and his crew. The guys head right to the garden to get all the gear washed, dried, and hung up so it's ready for the boys when they show up later today. Heads up. It's been a long day, made tougher by the disappointing loss. Fortunately for Robinson, he doesn't have to travel too far to find a place to rest his head. Number two gets Lop to pick it up, a right-handed shot over the blue line, into the left circle, to the net, shot at the goal post, and the puck stays out of the Bruins' win! For the second straight week, the Bruins take care of business on the tail end of back-to-back -back games as they defeated the Ducks 3-2 in a shootout. Unfortunately, the team couldn't string together two wins in a row as they fell on the road to the Islanders. Thomas Vanek! get some good news before the Dallas game, as Louis Erickson is back in the lineup to take on his former club. But that's not the only reunion of the night. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Get the complete level back to our game, huh? Come on, start tonight for a consistency as well. The opening draw pits Bergeron and Marchand against their former line mate, Tyler Sagan. All right, here we go, call Jump, but not too fast, okay? Yeah. No niceties are exchanged. Friendships checked at the door. It's all business. Oh. Bad pass. Sorry, man. Huh. Would have given you more time. Despite a solid first period, the Bruins come out tied, 1-1. Right now, we gotta get better. Second period, good changes, put pucks in deep. Make sure you make the right changes, not on the back yet, but as you're coming forward here, we're gonna chip it in, then make a good change here, and we're gonna keep the momentum going our way here. All right, let's go here. In the second, Marshawn welcomes Sagan to the garden with a little pat on the back. Still tied after the second period. Not the team's best period, but if they can win the next 20 minutes, they win the game. Let's pick our heads up. We're positive in here, boys. We're a great hockey team. We've got great players in here. Heads up. Help one another out. Don't point the finger. No one's playing their best right now. Nobody. No one can point the finger. Sometimes the passes are there, sometimes they're not. The game of mistakes. It's how you react after it. Heads up here, boys. Yeah, yeah. 20 minutes. We got a W. Smiles on our faces, listen to tunes afterwards. Let's go here. And we've been in this situation many times before. We know what to do. Go out there and do it. Great Boys, just relax out there. We know, we just gotta be smart. Play with some passion. Details on the ice. Let's go back to basic here. Now here's Krejci finding Hamilton top of the slot. 
Scores! What a magical pass! And the Bruins lead 2-1. The Bruins take the lead, but their happiness is short-lived. Here's Fiddler taking the pass, and Seinberg pulls him down. Penalty shot to give some back here. He scores! And it is 2-2. A scoreless overtime leaves this game to be decided by shootout. Bergeron and his former line mate trade shootout tallies. And then, in a major dose of irony, another former Bruin, Rich Peverly, ends it for the Stars. Painful shootout loss, the Bruins' trials continue. The search for answers and consistency goes on.